Well, I'm back again. It's WTC auction time, and that month flew by, although I missed last month. Again, I got to do an update video, but it isn't going to be this one. He's got a lot of stuff here, man. I mean, it's stacked. He's overflowed. About once a year, maybe twice a year in his auctions down here at WTC, they overflow, and this is one of them. August. Last year, I think it was July. It was just crazy. I think he ended up finishing up about 4, 4.30. And uh, But there's some red stuff here. Lots of antique trucks with titles. Lots of trucks not antique with titles, with reserves. And um, the red power stuff. A little birdie in a golf cart told me. Try some cubby stuff here for me. Looks like a lot of green from what I can see. And just a magenta of colors. Let's go. Let's show. All right. Looks like a cub engine. Radiator. Rear skins, those 8.324s, yeah, huh, and then a front end, and then this is the overflow, I guess, lot part, Ranger selling with reserve, reserve, yellow tagged, Tacoma, and I guess this truck was bought as one owner, three quarter ton GMC, maybe 55,000 miles, I think I heard him say, but yeah. All right, the truck start here with an international, and again, these all do have titles. None of them run, but they're project trucks. And then come over here, it's all off the Troyer farm. It's like potato processing stuff, potato and onion grater right there. And there, um, you can see a lot of different stuff. Cylinders, guys are always interested in that. Looks like, oh, probably a four by eight there. And, couple more if I'm around. Oh, they're a little. First on race day, Ford 801 with a loader. It'll trip bucket special. It is better than a pitchfork. And uh, skins look good on this side anyway. Firestone there, Armstrong there. Select like speed. Three point hitch, one remote. And uh, selling with reserve, got what appears to be a new coil on there and yeah skins are good all the way around these are titans on this side but firestone's matching the front there you go all right well here we go this is an f42 it's a woods i it's a it's a fast hitch version of the woods belly mower that i have on my cub with the duels on it i do have this very mower at home f42 so it's going to be 42 inches and then of course the fast hitch. Um, I have a video on my channel of me using mine. Uh, as soon as I got it, the first thing I did was test it out. This one does roll. I did move the blades. Um, I think other than paint, this thing's probably ripping and ready. Zerk there, throw some grease in it, check the belt and good to go. This is really neat. You don't see a lot of these. Farm all be seen better days, but uh, project or parts tracker and and I don't know, the end's what, four inches more narrow in the in the rear, but this is a little, I guess, in theory, safer on hills. <laughs> yeah, she's seen better days. Probably got a lot of parts on this thing, though. Yeah, knee deep in rubber on that side. Now, here you go. This would justify having duels on a Cub, wouldn't it? Uh, definitely my A would pull this, but it'd be cool if the Cub did. Problem with the Cubs and stuff like that is they overheat. Doesn't take long, a lot of hard work for them to get get quite warm it's a coal vegetable planter three-point hitch kind of a neat little setup truthfully yeah and it looks clean it's to come right out of the barn two gravities in a kicker wagon got a truck here with the reserve ford first on race day ac 5040 Got a white 6085, a WD Aulis Chalmers with the straight shifter, so it's not a 45. Keep the drive alive. Got a cubby here with reserve, and it is selling with the sickle bar setup. So there you go. And uh, okay, your grill's right here, but yeah, all the parts and pieces look like they're here, including the fast hitch. Bloom. All right, OC6 Oliver crawler 
and this thing has 459 hours on it really neat unit here tracks a little saggy but I don't know what do you tighten them up with grease <laughs> got a remote in the rear yeah I I gotta tell you I've, I don't think I've ever seen one out of sale it's selling absolute too so item seven get this and you'll be in heaven got a John Deere 620 with reserve there you go all this Chalmers 6060 and they tell me I thought they told me this was 65 horsepower so the 6060 is not relevant and it is selling absolute international 184 man we've seen a lot of these sell over the last few years and they sell well typically we are getting toward the end of mowing season but still with reserve oh we got some cubby weights weights in general um i'd be interested in these i i don't know how high i'd go on them but go somewhere on them i don't know if they're 50 pounders 40 50 pounders or not you guys will know but got a carry all unit here i have one at home exactly like it mine's probably in a little bit better shape because i've never used it and it was restored um oh okay little disco ducker here and uh the very tips broke but that won't stop it from clamping in yeah this looks like oh and he already put some extra weight on there um i usually just throw cinder blocks in i think they're like 30 pounds but either way yeah they're here and all the discs the blades themselves look good this be all right you know what i mean uh fast hitch assembly um don't know if everything's there or not but I do know everything's here and the old one bottom special with the coulter and I'm starting to see more and more of those coulters come out of the woods so to speak. Um, this one looks like it more or less came out of the barn and it's selling together because you got 92 and 92 so this is going to be a nice nice setup for someone because you usually don't get that coulter. Okay fairly rare assembly to find for a cub this is a planter looks like it has the fertilizer box too and it's got the marker so everything's here good grave ski this is your sweet corn special i'm not even going to lift that off i'll wait till tomorrow check it out but yeah it, it does look like everything's here if it's not well go on facebook and Oh, there's all kinds of groups on there cub groups I think three of them that I know of but yeah check this out you get planter disc plow assembly looks like cultivators carry all weights yeah cubby special right here Honda four tracks 300 once they determined that three-wheelers were too dangerous for us to ride this is what Honda come out with was the four track and I, I don't know if it was early 90s mid 90s but this one here looks clean and I can tell you if I didn't already have a Honda essentially it's one step up from this it's a 350 I'd be all over this and uh yep it's just got the reverse neutral oil temp I mean it looks clean looks like somebody did take the time to clean it up got the trailer hitch on the back good skins skin to winds and selling with reserve i don't know you never know um by the time he gets to this row it's probably going to be noon noon 30 truth be known and there's a lot of stuff here everywhere looks like a pretty nice one ton here with flatbed aluminum selling with reserve and another all his chalmers this is the 45 you can see it's got the curve shifter um pullers love these what's it got in the rear Oh, the old two bottom special and uh, looks like everything's there for that too on rubber a couple John Deere's here that looks like a 60 come around and then yeah. maybe an 8N here I don't know over the years you'd think I'd take the time to figure out what's what but 
Yeah, we'll call it that. You guys can correct me. Helps the algorithm out. Selling absolute, too. There you go. Maybe Squatch will show up and buy it. Well, there you go. I busted down through there like a speed demon. Highlighted some of the stuff that I thought my viewers would be interested in and stuff that I'm interested in, which can be synonymous with what you're interested in, too. And there's it's an action-packed weekend. I'm going to have to do some juggling because Stoneboro has their awesome poll this weekend as well. Tonight is exhibitors only, and then tomorrow I think is just like, you know, anybody can show up, bring a tractor, and pull the guts out of their tractor. But, uh, yeah, it's that time of year, man. Fair time, pull time, auction time, all the time. I'll see you at the next video real soon.